and welcome to my January to be read video where I'm going to talk a little bit about how I'm choosing my to be read pile for the month of January. Now at the end of this month I will check in and let you know how things went with the books that are on this pile but there's a couple different ways that I'm choosing what I'm reading this month. The first way is I've made some goals about series that I want to get through this year. And that means I need to start this month in order to make progress on them. So the first book I'm going to have on my pile is Robert Jordan's The Eye of the World from the Wheel of Time series. This is one that um, I'm excited to go through. It's a series that my partner really loves. And so I want to read it. I've never read it before. Um, so that's book number one. The other book I'm going to add to my to read pile for January is Still Life by Louise Petty. This is part of her Gamage series, which is one that I want to catch up on this year. I feel like I've started this series a couple different times, but I have never made it all the way through. So I want to start from the beginning and dive into the first book, which is called Still Life. And maybe I'll even read the second book in the series. I'm not sure, but at the very least, I want to get through that first one. Now, the other book I have in my pile is The Lantern Men by Ellie Griffiths. This is part of her Ruth Galloway series. And uh, I am caught up with that series, but somehow I missed The Lantern Men. I'm not entirely sure how I did that. So I'm catching up with that book on audio, and I'm currently listening to that right now. Now I've got five additional books that I want to add from the library. And then I'm also going to play a bit of a game where I choose a letter, a random letter from the alphabet. And then I'm going to use that letter to pick five additional books from my TBR pile from my Kindle library of books that I already own. And I'm going to do that live so that we can kind of build this list together. So I'm going to talk a little bit about what's on my list uh, from the library, and then we'll go ahead and pick out those TBR books. So the first book on my stack from the library is Sherry Lapina's Not a Happy Family. This is a book that I actually finished today. So as I record this, it's the first day of the new year, and I was actually able to read this book. Um, it is basically a family drama. It's about a family of three children and their parents are murdered. And then all three children are basically under suspicion because the parents uh, had a lot of money. They were very wealthy and the, the children stood to benefit from their deaths. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'll give more of a rundown at the end of this month, but this was kind of book one of 2022 and uh, really glad that I picked it up from the library. Okay, so the other books that I have on my stack, um, this one I picked up, I've never read this author before. Her name is Joanna Schaffhausen and the book is called Gone for Good. Part of the reason I picked this up is because it's introducing a new character, Detective Annalisa Vega. And it's a book that I think is uh, a newer book. It recently came out. And I always like to dive into new series and see kind of what authors are up to. So this is a book that came out in 2021. And this is kind of a serial killer story and a detective who's drawn into trying to catch that killer. The next book that I picked up is Hello Transcriber by Hannah Morrissey. This is a new author for me. Um, what really drew me into this story is the main character is a police transcriber who gets caught up in a particular crime that she hears about. She's also an aspiring novelist. Um, it sounds like a really fun kind of thriller story, so I'm looking forward to diving into this one too. Next up, I have Megan Miranda's Such a Quiet Place. I feel like in the last year or so, I really got into kind of um, domestic thrillers that are taking place in neighborhoods, and this one definitely falls into that category. Um, this is a neighborhood where there are a couple of murders that occur and the town is kind of trying to um, come to terms with that and, and it starts a year after that happens. So um, this is another new author for me that I'm looking forward to trying out. The next author is Mr. Nobody by Katherine Stedman. This is actually a repeat author for me. I picked this book up because I have read her previous book, Something in the Water, which I really enjoyed. Um, this is basically a book about a man who is found kind of drifting in and out of consciousness and nobody knows who he is. And so we're trying to figure out um, who this person is. And the main character is a neuropsychiatrist who tries to figure out who this person is and learn a little bit more about his history. So again, Mr. Nobody by Katherine Stedman. And then the fifth book on my pile is Marilla of Green Gables. And um, this is a book that I picked up because I really love Anne of Green Gables. I think it's a wonderful series. I remember it very fondly from my childhood. 
And this is basically a prequel that is written by a different author than the one who wrote the Anne of Green Gables series, Sarah McCoy, and it tells about the childhood and adolescence and early years of Marilla, who is an adult character in the Anne of Green Gables series. And I really picked this up for nostalgia reasons. I thought it would be kind of fun to dive into it and um, just that it would be really enjoyable. So that's called Marilla of Green Gables. So that's my stack of five books that I have that I'm picking up from the library. And now let's go ahead and pick out a letter and I'll think about what other books I want to add to my pile from my random Kindle selections. Okay, so I have all the letters on these little note cards. I picked the letter T and now I'm gonna pop over to my Kindle library here and see what I can pull up that is in that category. So at a glance, I can see there's actually quite a bit of things that I can choose from. I would say there's maybe 20 or 30 books in here that fall into this category of being uh, under the letter T as a title. So I'm just gonna skim through them really quickly and kind of randomly choose five that catch my eye. So the first one that I'm gonna pick is uh, Thomas Friedman's Thank You for Being Late, An Optimist's Guide to Thriving in the Age of Accelerations. I don't know that I've ever read a Thomas Friedman book. I've certainly read his articles in the New York Times. I've heard a lot about his work, um, but I've never read his, his uh, book length uh, work. So I'm excited to dive into this one. The next one I'm gonna choose is actually one that I heard another um, kind of booktuber and uh, you know, like blogger talking about, and it's a, a Japanese author. I may get this name a little bit wrong. It's Kikuko Sumura. Uh, there's no such thing as an easy job. And um, I heard about this from someone else, thought it would be really kind of interesting to pick up. I haven't read a lot of Japanese fiction, so looking forward to looking at that one too. I think the next one I wanna pick, I wanna have a little bit of drama this month. So I'm gonna pick They Wish They Were Us which I believe is kind of a dark academia thriller by Jessica Goodman. Um, I, if I remember correctly, I think this takes place in like a boarding school environment or high school environment um, and involves some kind of like crime or thriller-esque plot. So I'm gonna pick that one. As you can see, this is truly random because I don't always even know what the plots are for these books. Um, okay, I'm gonna pick five total. So the fourth book I'm gonna pick is called This One Wild and Precious Life by Sarah Wilson. The subtitle is The Path Back to Connection in a Fractured World. I really like Sarah Wilson's work. I think she does a phenomenal job of talking about things like mental health issues like depression and anxiety. And uh, this is one of her books I have not read yet. So I'm excited to pick that one up. And then the last one I'm gonna choose is, I'm gonna pick Three Junes, uh, which is a novel by Julia Glass. This is a book that was actually recommended to me years and years ago by my dissertation advisor uh, when I was in grad school and I have never had a chance to pick it up and read it. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up. I think if I remember correctly, this is kind of a either a multi-generational or like a multi-decade kind of storyline. I think it does take place in like the 1980s through maybe present day. Um, I'll have to kind of Give you the full story at the end of the month after I've actually read it, but I trust my advisor's taste quite a bit and uh, looking forward to reading Three Junes by Julia Glass. So between those five books that I've picked off of my Kindle, the five books that I have from the library, the audiobook that I'm currently reading, The Lantern Men by Ellie Griffiths, the Eye of the World uh, by Robert Jordan, and then also picking up Still Life by Louise Penny. I have quite the stack this month and I'm probably gonna try to squeeze in even a couple more in the margins, I would imagine as well. So uh, I will look forward to updating you at the end of this month about how all of these picks end up going. And I hope you'll drop in the chat below uh, the comments section, what are you reading in the month of January? What are you most looking forward to kicking off your year with? And I always love to add things to my stack. So I hope this gave you some ideas too of what you might add to your to read pile. And I'll be back at the end of the month to update you on how everything went.